Uh, origami. Who the fuck does origami? Uh, no, I left that there. It was brand new. <laughs> I left that origami. Uh, no, thank you. I don't even think you... Sometimes you work all week and on your weekend off you don't get much time to do your own things and thrift as well. So I'm heading to where I need to head today, but uh, I'm going to jump into the one salvos that's on the way. Unfortunately, this salvo sucks ass. Absolutely sucks balls, this salvo. But we're going to hit it, and we're going to see what we can get from one thrift store. Because sometimes when you're a part-time seller, that's all you got time for. But if you know your comps, and you know what kind of sells, it can really be... One store can really be a blessing. Uh, one store is all you need. So we're going to find out if one store is all you need. Let's do this. So here we are at the Salvos. Always struggle at this store, but it was my one stop, my only stop for the weekend. So we had to make the most of what we could get out of this store. It didn't look good for me when you first see the first thing on the rack. Look at that. They want what for it? They want what? 50 bucks, 40, 50 bucks, fuck, no. They can go to hell, we know we're not gonna have a good run, but let's keep going, let's just keep going. We go through the shirts, and these are all random prices. All random prices, and $25, go to hell. I don't even know the brand, just don't even worry about it. This is a, uh, that's a work jacket. They, they're wanting over $20 for a lot of these jackets. I know it's winter, but come on, give me a break. Uh, this was a nice Patriots uh, jumper. Unfortunately, the size was medium, I'm pretty sure. They wanted $9, I think it was, for it. $9. Uh, just for the size. For the size, uh, I didn't want to go through with it. I think it was $11, actually. Uh, these were some knockoff Dockers uh, shirts. Carlton one there, which they wanted. What's that, $11 for? Go to hell. Uh, no chance in hell. Uh, you'd probably even get that back for it. That was an alright Dockers one, but uh, once again, they wanted $15 for that. 15 bucks, no way. Um, and it wasn't it wasn't a 90s one anyway, so it was more of a 2005 one, so no thanks. Nah, I'm not buying any Eagles stuff either, so I always like going for the sports gear. These weren't retro ones, so I wasn't paying for it. it <laughs> there we go, look at this. There's a barley jersey. Everyone misses barley. Do you want a barley jersey? And they still want a top dollar for it. Ah, uh, no. Nah, not on my watch. No, thank you. So let's go to the normal shirts and we have a little look through here. And I did find some good stuff uh, that I will show you in uh, show and tell. I just like to always show you the stuff I don't buy. Adam's Family. Um, I thought this was going to be an actual Adam's Family uh, concert. I didn't know they did a stage show, but it was just a school thing. So... Uh, it was no good, no good to me. Uh, keep calm and something or other. Didn't know what that fucking was, but uh, we just left it. Now, would you have brought this? Look at this guy, out of nowhere, bang! Just jumps in, fucking cuts me off while I'm looking at the shirts. But anyway, this Fortnite Battle Royal shirt, would you have grabbed that? I think it was $9, I left it. I did not get it. This guy, fucking jumping in front of me. He jumped the queue. I was not happy he grabs two shirts. I don't even know what two shirts he grabbed, but they could have been shirts that I wanted. I want those shirts. Don't even know what two he grabbed, but he cut in line. He knew I was fucking right near the end, and he just runs and jumps near the end, grabs two shirts. Look at these jeans. These weird jeans. Uh, didn't buy these, left these on the shelf. Would you have grabbed these? These are some weird looking uh, jeans, some kind of emo ones, really. Uh, still don't know what I'm looking for when I look at jeans, and. Uh, Back gammon game. I wanted ten to fifteen dollars for this, and uh, I said I don't think so. But uh, these adult diapers look more appealing for five dollars a packet. So uh, ten dollars a pack. I don't even see what that price was. It was about five dollars a packet, but I left the adult diapers because uh, there was that many of them there. I thought this. I see a lot of spoons lately. I don't know if you see a lot of spoons lately, but I see a lot of spoons. Uh, I do go through them. I found the 911 one one once, and uh, that was pretty cool. Thought this was a Mighty Max. 
uh, Mighty Max toy, but it wasn't. It was uh, just junk, so we just left that there. But um, you gotta have a look through everything. You need to have a look through everything. Look through these little books here, and uh, nothing, unfortunately. And this goddamn thing. Oh man, how many times do I see that thing? I'm gonna keep a tally of how many times I see that damn platypus. How, every time I see that platypus, I'm putting it up on the screen. So that's one. That's one time for that platypus. So we keep looking for the toys. Uh, does everyone else put in the comments? Do you, does everyone else see that platypus? Because I see that platypus everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. These toys were a bit average, bit average, but um, it is what it is. It is what it is with the toys. Uh, this dinosaur here, I I couldn't tell what brand it was for. It was what brand it was from. I couldn't tell uh, what series it was from. I think it was Jurassic World, but it looked too cartoonish. Um, it was pretty cool for five dollars, but it was one of those ones where it needed batteries, so I left it because sometimes you just can't. You just yeah, five dollars is a lot for something that takes batteries, and if it's corroded inside, it's pretty cool. Like look at it, it made, yeah, it was it was pretty cool. I should have grabbed it anyway, but um, doesn't matter. Uh, origami, who the fuck does origami? Uh, no, I left that there. It was brand new. <laughs> I left that origami. Uh, no, thank you. I don't even think you can sell that. Uh, this was a $5 sealed Yahtzee. Uh, I think it was 2011. Very dusty and old. Uh, Milton Bradley. I accidentally put it back on the shelf and didn't grab it. I kind of wish I brought it. I uh, probably got $25 for it, but um, I accidentally left it. Put it back on the uh, shelf and uh, left it, but that doesn't matter uh, because we found the bill. We found the bill book, and uh, no, thank you. You can stick it up your ass, keep your bill. I'm not paying that, and uh, we got some trivial pursuit. But um, the books were a bit average as well, uh, as you see here. They have the whole series of uh, uh, what's this uh, book called? Series the one that Tom Hanks was in. There we go, the Dan Brown book. Look at them all. Look at them all there. Oh, it's not a series. It's all the fucking same book. It's all the same book. The Da Vinci Code. The Da Bloody Vinci Code. There's an extra Da Vinci Code with a different cover. Oh, God. That's a lot of Da Vinci Codes. Where the hell did they get all those copies from? Who wants to be a millionaire? The hot seat one. Should have brought that for five bucks just for the questions. We could have done maybe a thrifting uh, uh, game, game night again like we used to do. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to do a thrifting game night uh, like we used to do a live one and uh, we'll do some questions and have some fun and get drunk. Uh, but uh, I left that. I can I can do that down the track and get another board game, but I left that one uh, for now. Uh, Burt's Backyard, classic uh, Australian bloke. Uh, does anyone even know what Burke's backyard even looks like? He's always criticizing everyone else's backyards, but uh, he never shows his own backyard, so I left that on the shelf. I don't really want to buy anything from Burke if he can't uh, show his own backyard. It's the bed sheets. I'm always looking for the bed sheets, but uh, unfortunately nothing uh, here for the bed sheets today. There's a Chelsea one. Didn't bother with that. And then before I go, oh, and there's a nice, beautiful aerial pillow. Yeah, I'm a big Little Mermaid fan. I didn't grab it because it was very disgusting and grubby. I uh, left Little Mermaid, but uh, there's Ariel there. Love my Little Mermaid, and there's Wiggles. It's actually so cold, so we're going to go back to the shed. We're going to go back to the shed and see what we've got. Uh, there was a few resellers in there. I could tell there was resellers in there, and they were running. They, 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 they're Russian. They're just not rushing. Bit of an average shop. Very average shop. I just showed you everything I didn't get. So let me show you everything I did get. Let's go. So we'll start with the bread and butter. The bread and butter items that we got. We got all these for 50 cents each. All these DVDs. These Wolverines and X-Men's we will, and Predator will lot up with other stuff later on down the track. Uh, Batman and Robin, this Bad Santa is sealed. That will go at Christmas time for $10. Easy, very easy at Christmas time. Couple of uh, Wii games that were only worth $10 each as well. Um, we're not gonna put in the uh, kitty um, these ones that we're gonna lot up later on down the track. But these ones are definitely $10 each every day of the week. Uh, this Beach Boys. 
Uh, greatest hits will go for about 15. This dock is uh, bread and butter right here. Dock is poker set, $10 or $15. And about 10 to $15 for this sealed uh, CSI season one. It wasn't a big haul today at all, no way at all, but you can't win them all. You cannot win them all. I got all these Nintendo game uh, game magazines for 25 cents, 25 cents, 25 cents each. So there was 10 of them. It ended up being $2.50 for all of these 10 Nintendo magazines, which is pretty cool. Some of them will want these. I should get about $40 plus post for all these. Um, some nerd out there is really going to want it. And I appreciate you nerds, because I'm a nerd at heart when it comes to toys. So when it comes to game stuff, we know we can always rely on them. When the magazines are 25 cents each, you might as well give it a crack. Who cares? Who cares if you... It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Take a risk sometimes. This was 50 cents, uh, Super Smash Brothers, Super Smash Brothers Brawl uh, on Wii. Uh, going by comps, some are sold for $30, some are sold for $25. I'm just gonna put $20 in the kitty for this one. Um, we'll quick flip it, and I'm pretty sure I can get 20 bucks pretty quick on this. Uh, 20 bucks in the kitty from 50 cents. I love, I love buying stuff cheap and then selling it for 20 bucks. 50 cents in $20 when a lot of other people are buying stuff for $30 just to sell it for 60 bucks, well, in the end, it kind of works out the same thing really, doesn't it? Okay, next up we got this Perf Demons jacket, uh, waffle Perf Demons jacket. This cost me $6, uh, $6, and uh, hopefully I can turn this one into 50 bucks with the waffle season going at the moment as well. Demons aren't doing too bad. Uh, this is a really, really nice jacket. Really nice jacket. Uh, too bad I don't go for the demons, otherwise I would have kept it for myself, but it's got really nice insulation and uh, definitely keep you warm. Could even be a coach's jacket, but not sure, but it's very, very warm. Uh, I think this would be waterproof as well. But um, waffle, waffle fans, demons fans, this will go for $50 easy, and that's probably, uh, undercutting myself just so I can get rid of it. Uh, look, I hate NRL, but this is still new with tags. New with tags here. This is a uh, nice jersey here of the uh, West Tigers. I'm not too sure about this team. Um, I don't follow rugby, but beautiful, beautiful jersey. NRL, cost me five bucks, still got the tag on there, haven't listed it yet. And uh, I should be able to buy comps, um, a lot of them sold for 60 bucks to 60 to 80 bucks. So I'm thinking uh, on this one, the West Tigers jersey, because it is a uh, small, it is a small 16, so that doesn't help situation very much, but um, so were the other ones that sold. So I'm gonna put down 50 bucks in the kitty. I'm not gonna say the uh, 70, 80 bucks that other people have got. and. Um, I'm going to go a little bit cheaper and it's new with tags as well and uh, we'll quick flip that one. 50 bucks in the kitty. So not the greatest haul today. Not as much uh, great things as usual but um, two more things left. I took a risk on this. This was $2.00. Uh, Lion King uh, Woolworths Oushis. Without doing any comps, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna grab it because there's only two missing from the set. Idiots were buying these for stupid amounts of money. Um, a lot of them were fake on there as well. But um, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give this a crack for $2. Looked up the comps, I can probably get with Post $20 for this. <laughs> it was all bullshit. The Oushis the thing was all fucking bullshit no matter what anyone says. Um, so that was a bad buy. That was a bad buy, but still $2 into $20. Better than a kick in the dick. Better than a poke in the scrope. Better than nothing, okay, better than nothing. And the last thing that I got was this uh, Kodak, uh, I can't even pronounce that. Ek 
Etra Pro. Anyway, it's a slide tray. This was $3, this Kodak slide tray. Kodak slide tray. Uh, this was $3, and I can turn this into $30. Only $30. So the only thing that really saved me uh, from this thrift was the actual uh, rugby uh, jersey um, and the AF, oh, the waffle jacket. All the bread and butter stuff would be about $70 that were there at the start, but um, you know, everything else it was kind of all just really bread and butter stuff as well. So, um, There's only one person we can ask what the total will be after fees and after taxes and after all that mumbo jumbo bullshit. So let's bring up the kitty. Kitty. It was a pretty piss poor thrift this week, but we only spent $27. $27, kitty. So before fees, before taxes, before a mumbo bum bumbo jumbo bullshit. Kitty, how much? How much from this little, little thrift? Will it pay for a bill this week if it all sells? $280 once it all sells, before fees and taxes, $280 from $27 spent. I'm happy with that. Kitty's happy with that. Kitty looks angry, but we're all happy with that. Kitty, fuck off, Kitty. Fuck off, Kitty. Okay, thanks so much for joining me. If you got this far, hit the thumbs up. It helps me with the algorithm. To hit the thumbs up, hit the uh, subscribe, hit the little bell icon. I'll do a video a week if you guys are digging it and back into it. Uh, you enjoy the first part of the show, the, the ride along, or do you enjoy the uh, show and tell, or do you watch both of them? I don't know. Some people might skip to the very end or just watch the first half. I don't, I don't fucking know. But I do try and just show the stuff I don't get in the ride along. Because I'm gonna show you what I get anyway in the show and tell. Anyway, subscribe, like, uh, hit the bell icon guys and I'll be back next week. Thank you very much and say hello to your mother for me. See you.